Hi guys, it's been a little while since my last video so I thought I'd show you my latest project and what it is, it's my old handheld Radio Shack TRC 1014 I've had this quite a few years, haven't really used it it doesn't pick up much of a signal now I think that's down to the power output and this is the battery case that came with it it's a little six cell double A battery holder and I believe with six cells it outputs about two watts in the UK I think the legal limit is four watts and to achieve that you need to run it on I think at least nine volts or better still 12 volts so what I'm going to do today is convert it to 12 volts now I've got this lead cigarette lighter for your car lead this came off a solar panel trickle charger for the car that's long since departed um, but I kept hold of the lead in case it came in helpful and what I'd like to do is to wire this in to this unit so in the battery holder what I'm going to do is down the bottom here there's a little bit of space there's no contacts or anything so what I'm going to do is cut a little hole there and feed this wire in up to the top and I could solder this wire onto the contacts at the top there so you've got like got the minus and the positive at the top I could solder them straight onto those contacts at the top there but while I was on YouTube there was a comment made on another video about these type of radios and someone said why don't you use a piece of wooden dowel as long as you get them the same size and thickness as a AA battery you could make up two false batteries so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that there on the end screw in a self tapping screw one that's obviously conducts electricity screw in a screw there cut these wires feed one wire around one post cut another one so one fits there the other one fits there do the same again for the positive and negative the wire will come in connect to the contacts as a normal battery would and then it's all good to go and the good thing about that using the wooden dowel using some wooden dowel is you can remove it and so you've still got the usability of this case should you want to use it with six cells it hasn't damaged it all that it will have is like a little hole there so that will be totally removable so you've got the choice of the little six cell pack or you've got the 12 volt system that you can use in your car or a handheld battery pack or anything like that so let's get on and do that okay so I've made up two little dowels the same size as the battery or actually a little bit smaller just to accommodate the screw head on the top and also you're going to be wrapping wire around the screw as well so maybe just a little bit shorter so I've got two of these dowels and these are the two screws I'm going to use um, and what I'm going to do is check the continuity so obviously sometimes screws might not be as um, conductive as you know other screws so what I'm going to do is check the continuity using this multimeter so turn it around to there and it should emit a noise when you've got good conductivity so let's do the first one that's all good and the second one there we go so that tells me they're going to conduct electricity through there 
and onto the CB radio. Now then, take that out of the way. What I'm going to do is install these screws into the top using a bridle. So find the centre. So this just gives it a bit of a pilot hole to kick it off. There we go. There we go. Right, install the second screw. There we go. So we've got two sort of false batteries, as it were, that will go in the top, like so. They'll come together, or they won't, as it were. <laughs> okay. So maybe they're a little bit big. Yeah, they're a little bit big. So what I'll do is I'm going to take some of that off there, some of that off I've there. I've had to chamfer one of the edges a little bit more than the other one because as it was in in the battery case, it sat a little bit proud and it was pushing on the other one and it wouldn't actually close properly. It was pushing it open like that. So, uh, yep, yeah, they go in there rather nicely. Like that, and they close up, so that's pretty cool. Right, so the next thing to do is to cut the end off this, separate the wires a little bit, wrap them around the battery terminals, and also make a little hole in the bottom of that for the lead to come out. So I'll do that next. Okay, so this is it so far. I've put a little rubber grommet on the wire there. I'll just pull that out. So I've made a little cut out here in the bottom of the battery pack. Hopefully you can see that. There you go. I've only done it on one side. So obviously when these close up, the other side catches it and keeps it in there. So I've just threaded a little rubber grommet on this wire. It sits in there quite nicely. Just pushes in like that. And so the wires will go to the tips of these fake batteries at the top there. And then the other side will just snap on there quite nicely. Looks pretty cool. So then when you slide this top bit on, it locks it all into place. There you go. And it's just the wire just comes out the side. Okay, so again, to find the continuity of uh, a wire like the path of the wire just set it to the continuity test on your multimeter so I want to know which wire is the center contact so if I pretend it's the positive so which one is it going to be on this wire and there you go so it's that one not that one so that one is the wire for me with the white stripe so the black and white is the center positive on this one okay so there we have it I've put the wire in now so I've connected each end up to the positive and the negative I've made sure the little rubber grommet is in place and they should there we go fold up nice and neatly 
So just slide that on there. And I think that looks a very clean, tidy job. There you go. I'm still able to use it. Got your channel up and down buttons easy, nice and easily. So it doesn't get in the way. So now let's go and try this in the car. Okay, so we're in the car now and uh, brought the CB along. So we're going to see how it fares. Take out my little, this is quite a good little thing actually. It's like a little USB thing you, you pop into the uh, cigarette lighter. Gives you two ports. It's made by Griffin, but it's it's very nice. It's um, it's very flush when you pop it in there. It doesn't stick out at all. It's quite a nice little handy thing. Anyway, onto the CB. So here we are. It's all wired in. This incidentally comes with a little fuse in the end. Undo that. And there's a little glass fuse. It says 250 volts at 5 amps on there. I might change that to a 3 amp one, but we'll see how we get on with that first off. So that is fused, and obviously the car is fused as well. So we'll pop that in there, and we'll see how we get on with this. Seems to work. I'd say that's a success. Yes, yeah, so I'm well pleased with that. It looks quite smart as well, I think. So now not only can I use this in the car, I can also use it portable with this little battery pack if I want. Or if I have a, a battery pack that is 12 volt socket with it, then I can use that as well. So I'd like to Give a shout out to Mark, who is 163CTX009 on YouTube for the inspiration of doing this mod. And also to Ramden72, who came up with the comment in his, one of his videos for the little wooden dowels that hold the wires in. Excellent idea. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and hope to see you on the next one. Cheers.